Hello, and welcome back to What's Bubbling is Zim. I am Dr. Abstract, and in this bubbling, we're going to continue to look at what's new in Zim NFT01. Let's go to the site here, and we have seen what's uh, new in Zim NFT. That's uh, making NFTs with Zim, which is great. You can click that little arrow and find out more, plus a whole bunch of other updates to NFT as well. So super, super duper launch. And now we're in Zim NFT 01, which can be found in the news section here. Here's a little mini site. We've already done a bubbling on the dialog box here, and we did a bubbling on emojis. Now we're going to take a look at dialog box on <laughs> dialog box, <laughs> a bubbling on indicator. Um, so here are some indicators, and we thought, yeah, let's add custom hearts to the indicators. That's a good idea. And how about custom stars? And then, so that was the plan. We already done that. And then along came these emojis, and it's like, Oh, wait a minute. What if we just make the indicator have any of these emojis? So that's what we did. Yay, isn't that beautiful? Oh, and we, we ran into a problem. What if you have no battery? In the past, the indicator was stuck here. You, if you made the indicator interactive, that's what you got. It was like you're stuck there. You'd have to hard code something saying I click off the indicator and I, that means I could go back to a negative one selection. Because that's the zero selection there. So we realized, well, wait a minute. What if we're not happy at all? Click. That's what we do. Add a batteries. Click again. So there you go. You just get to the bottom. Click. So that's uh, an improvement in Zim NFT. <laughs> zero one. <laughs> wow. If this, is the, if this is the only thing you've heard about the update in Zim NFT zero one, isn't that funny? Ah, we have one extra click on the indicator. Ah. Anyway, no, so it's cool to have the emojis there. That's super. Um, let's wrap this in. If I go to the next one, we're going to go to the camera. And I, I want to keep that a surprise for later. So I'm not going to go that way. I'm going to go backwards <laughs> through the emojis. Backwards. Uh, past this, this is the sort of the loose ends one. And we'll do uh, bubbling on that as well to here. We're going to wrap, uh, we're going to put this one in here as well. This is just a quick one that shows that we can collapse and expand the window. So this is a Zim window. Here's a Zim panel, which isn't draggable at the moment, but we could set it to draggable. And here's a list which we can expand and contract. Uh, the list, of course, works with, like it is a window in behind there. I don't think the panel's a window. I think that's something on its own. It doesn't have a scroll bar attached to it and stuff like that. But there's the list and we're collapsing and expanding. And indeed, if we close these down, <laughs> just open them back up again. <laughs> there we go. So let's go in and take a look at the code to see how we, oh shoot, I <laughs> previewed the cam. Ah, I went the wrong way. Uh, let's go past that one, past this one, past that. And here, let's go see how the um, indicators work, shall we? So we reduce this down. We pop on into some code. We're using Zim NFT01 there. Sorry about the dark gray. And we come on down. We've got that. Well, let's take a look and see what this looks like. Open in browser plus. So this is that gray rectangle or well, black rectangle. <laughs> very, 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 very dark gray. That black rectangle is in the middle. We, we use the green background for all of these banners. So thought we would keep it consistent, but we wanted to show these against dark. All right, we've got some style going on saying turn those to be interactive and fill them. So that's why they're filling in behind there. By default, if we didn't have the fill, well, I can see what that would look like, then they don't fill in behind there. Which maybe you want or maybe you don't, but Phil's usually telling you a number, uh, like uh, this is the third panel or something, where it feels like we should be filling these at the moment for, with these emojis. Agreed. And then there's the number of them, as well as a selected index is being randomly picked between one, two, and three. So if we refresh this again, this time it's, you know, something chosen in the middle. That's, uh, we're just goofing around there. You could do a series, for instance, and turn them into a series. Uh, if you were to try that series like this, uh, the object, the idea would be to show um, this is zero selected. That would mean one would start here, 
two, three, <laughs> actually, it would look like that, and then it would start over again and, and look like that as well. That's what you would expect to see passing in a Zim V value, but I refresh here, and it's a little bit strange looking. Wait a minute, it's not doing that at all. What is it doing? Our series is broken. The reason for that is we're in a style, we're in the overall style. These styles get called every single object that is made. So when we make an indicator, the indicator calls it, but so does the shape inside, each shape inside the indicator calls it as well, even if it doesn't have a selected index. So we're considering how to deal with that. It's too tricky to actually fix. I think, I think we looked at it before and all we've done is document it. Don't do that. So the, the solution to that is merely put this in um, one that is called indicator. Colon, and then say the indicator selected index make a series like that. And we refresh this here. And then we're selected index of one, two, three. One, two, three. Like that. And we're good. So that the hearts and other things like that don't take the styles. All right. So that, yeah, a little tricky. Anyway, we, we weren't doing that anyway. Let's <laughs> just undo through that. Uh, we were randomly picking, which is fine. Of course, you could have kept it in the, in the style only for the indicator and randomly picked in there too. But anyway, whatever. This works fine here. And if you don't, if you don't get what I was talking about there, don't worry about it at all. It's just for maybe a little bit of an advanced thing. It might catch you. And that's in the docs under styles, by the way. So here uh, are our indicators, yay, with a type of heart, a type of star, and here we are passing in a new emoji. You can do that either way. You could paste in the Unicode, or you could take the code, and we talked about that in our emoji thing, and that's what we've got going on here. Okay, so those are the indicators made into an array. Then we tile those, and make sure when you tile them, if you didn't put it to true right there, that means unique. That means we're expecting to tile each one of these. If we don't have a true there, what would it do? Do you know? What would passing in an array of things do? Then it becomes a ZIMV value, and it would just pick from those. So that would look like this. Ah, we got some batteries. We got some stars. We got So it's just randomly picking from that array of what it's going to show, which may be what you want. It's often what we want with tile, to tell you the truth. Um, but we can also use tile to actually tile unique things. And so this parameter right here is saying tile uniquely, please. We used to have to code that in another, you know, there's other ways to code that too. But um, we realized that the, the two main ways are so common and almost almost even. I think I think the random is is better for certainly for making art and stuff, but the unique is better for like laying out um, laying out things. Okay, so uh, like a set of these. Oh, except we say true. Alrighty, and we're applying some scale, but that's no big deal there. And then that's it. And then we go to the header. So that's that's what we did. We made a bunch of indicators. We tiled them, and there they are. Yay! All right, with the emojis or with the hearts. Well, actually, excuse me, there they are. Uh, these ones are not actually emojis. They're, they're built in so you can specify them with strings, heart and star. Or there's, of course, the traditional as well, which is box. And well, if we don't have anything, it would be, I think, dot or circle or something like that. So there's your two original indicators. And in Zim NFT01, We've added heart and star, and then realized, well, heck, we could just put any emoji, which means we could have really gone out and got either the heart or the star emoji and, and put it in there as well. But whatever, we had already made it, and so what the heck, why not? All right, so that's that one. Uh, in terms of the collapsing, there's not much to see in the collapsing, really. We've made a new panel, and there it is, collapse true. We could start it collapsed, by the way. So we can start the panel collapsed and same with here. Here's collapse true. We can start it collapsed if we want. Collapse true, start it collapsed if we want. 
and that's it. And we're saying basically, oh, we're, we've got a full size in that window too. Did you see that one that opens it up to full size? That's always been there. And then resurrect is just afterwards. We're uh, opening it up again, basically. Um, how do we do that? After a timeout, resurrect. We must have said something to do. Oh, dot add to. So uh, when we closed it, sorry, that's when we close it. When we close it, we removed it. And now I'm resurrecting it. We're just adding it back again. The collapsing ha happens automatically on its own. Okay. Be when, once you set that and people hit those little triangles, it's collapsing. There is an event that will uh, that you can capture to find out if it's collapsed or not. That's the close event, I guess. We're resurrecting, but we didn't bother with a collapsed event, it looks like, in here that I can see. Uh, but by the way, anytime you press on this one right here, well, are we on the right one? We're on the wrong one, so backwards. Oh, this is going through my file system. That might not actually get there. I don't know. I'll do it back over here. Boop, boop, ignore that one. So, um, Anytime you want to find out the docs about these things, press on the Z. So that's a hit. It takes you to the dock for window and pane. So we go to the pane. And if you go down to the bottom of the pane. Uh-oh, I found panel. I think we put the wrong thing in there. Um, yeah, it looks like it. It's good we caught it then. Well, let's go to the other one then. Which is window. And down at the bottom of the window, we take a look at the events, and there's the events. There's a collapse and expand event are available on the window. All right, well, that's been a bubbling, taking a look through the emojis, and well, uh, just oh, not that, uh, just one more thing. Oh, where'd it go? I was in it. How about that? Okay, so that opened up in the same window, all right. Um, usually, if I'm, go if I'm in Zim, going to Zim, I'll make it so that it goes not in a different window there. But I kind of thought maybe that one went to a different window. Heading back to the, uh, the last thing I wanted to show you is if we're here on Indicator, again, click that and we open up the Indicator. The last time we had a bunch of different ones, the panel and the window, could have gone to list there as well. It looks like I, I didn't quite finish that. Let's let's have a look at the, the actual code in there. This was collapse. Here's our dialogue. And what have we got when we go to the docs link? Collapse uh, demo, but where do we say docs link? There it is. Window and pane, yeah, okay. Window and panel, I don't know, maybe I thought, window pane, that's perfect, that's what it should be. Anyway, window, panel, and list. Okay, hadn't um, hadn't fixed those. So that's the link going to the dock, and we'll update this, upload like so. Yeah, let's try her out here. Hey, we got some live updating, how about that? And we were going backwards to get there. Reason I'm going backwards is I don't wanna show the the um, cam stuff because that's coming up in a bubbling all right did i refresh refreshed click here yay window panel list so if we have multiple ones to go to we provide this featured box right here that featured box comes up if you say items is equal to that it makes a feature box and then we're jumping to the panel we hit top we jump to the list we hit top we jump to the window etc all righty. Hopefully that wasn't too weird. <laughs> yeah, bubbling. All right. I'm Dr. Abstract. This has been a What's Bubbling Zim, where we took a look at the new features of the indicator, as well as the collapsing of the, the windows and panels and stuff. Um, please join us, zimjs.com slash slack or zimjs.com slash discord. We'd be happy to have you there. And certainly if you've watched this whole thing and you're interested in coding in Zim, why not? It's our community. So don't be shy. Come say hi. Oh, wow. Nice. Okay. And we'll see you in another bubbling. Cheers.